I'm sure everybody's been waiting for me to make my comment on this new assertion that acetaminophen causes autism. And I can't even believe I just said that out loud. My goodness. And I'm sure people are going to expect me to say correlation doesn't equal causation. They're probably going to expect me to bring up the Swedish study with millions of participants. They're probably going to expect me to talk about the fact that people that take acetaminophen during pregnancy are probably taking it because they're sick and having fevers. And that in and of itself is, if anything, the contribution to any sort of uh, adverse neurological um, development later on in a child's life. I'm sure all those things are expected and talked about so much already. But what I don't get is where who, are, who is this subset of people that just refuses to believe or perhaps cannot understand that correlation doesn't equal causation. We've all seen the little graph with the summer months where the shark attacks increase and the ice cream sales increase. But obviously we know that shark attacks aren't being caused by people selling ice cream. Like who are the people that don't understand this and where are they? And are they not capable of understanding that? Or are they refusing to believe it? Or I think that, that that's really the bigger mystery here is why is such a wild claim being made? And I mean, it's almost, it's almost like it was staged. Like we couldn't look up how to pronounce acetaminophen five minutes before and write it at the top. It it's, makes me wonder if there isn't, and I'm not going to be a conspiracy theorist about conspiracy theorists. That would be too deep. But it's like, what is the purpose behind saying this? Do they think it's actually going to somehow miraculously <laughs> cure autism? There's something going on here because most people with a third grade education understand that correlation isn't causation. Like the shark attacks aren't being caused by ice cream sales the shark attacks are happening because more people go to the beach in the summer and ice cream is more prevalent in the summer because it's hot and people like ice cream like I am I'm I am mystified by the people that either refuse to believe that or cannot comprehend that and then another thing is even my six-year-old understands that studies that have more people in them and are controlling for different things is going to be more reliable than the outcomes of studies with just like two people on the side of the road like, and so if a six-year-old can understand these things, I'm not trying to insult anybody's intelligence because I'm not convinced that it's an intelligence problem or even like a brainwashing problem. Like someone who is adamant that they believe this, please explain to me like why you are ignoring the correlation doesn't equal causation and why you are ignoring the fact that bigger, more reliable studies are out there saying that Tylenol doesn't increase the risk of autism. I'm genuinely curious and I think that is actually the biggest mystery here.